Hi, this is Sean from Applet Media. In this video, we'll go over how to improve your website SEO using Yoast SEO. So let's get started. So first, we'll need to install Yoast SEO. So go to Plugins, and then Add New, and then search for Yoast SEO. And then click Install Now. and then activate. Okay, so now it's installed. What we wanna do is go into general and then click first time configuration. So we're gonna click start SEO data optimization. Okay, now the site is analyzed, so click continue. And then site representation. So this just goes over um, what your website is about. So whether it's an organization or a person. So this is a website for a law firm. So just make sure the names are all filled out correctly. And the logo. Save and continue. And then social profile. So if, if you have any social media accounts, you can just input that here. And then click save and continue. And then personal preferences. So this is just about uh, sharing your data with Yoast to improve their application. And if you want to sign up for the newsletter, so we can just save and continue. Okay, and then it's asking if you want to register for an account. So we'll skip that for now, but you can do that if you're looking to get more out of the plugin or if you want to sign up for the premium version. But for now, we'll just uh, visit the SEO dashboard. Okay, so next let's configure the Yoast SEO settings. So go to settings. Okay, so it's just giving you some prompts. Okay, so these are your site features. So make sure these are on, which ever ones you'd like included. So by default, these are the ones selected. So SEO analysis, readability analysis, insights, cornerstone content, text link counter, and social sharing features, and the admin bar tool, so which is this one right here, just a quick access, and then just some API functionality so again this one is important as well just making sure all of these are correct because this is what's going to be shown in search engines okay again let's fill that out here Okay, and then this, if you want to connect um, Google Search Console, you would need to add a verification code. So you can do that through this section. Okay, so next let's use the Yoast SEO on page editor so that we're able to individually edit the SEO of each page. So let's edit the home page, for example. Okay, so click here, edit. And then this is the Yoast SEO section right here. So this is where you're able to optimize your on-page SEO. So the featured key phrase is So by putting this, um, Yoast SEO will guide you with how your page should be optimized. So this here is really important. This is how your 
your listing will be presented on Google. So just make sure it's all accurate. So this is just by default, but you can modify it yourself. Okay, and then this log is just the root domain. And then just some meta description. So this is the text below the title. and then SEO analysis. So these would give you um, problems with the page, which you can use to improve the SEO of your page. Okay, so we can fix a few of these problems. So let's start with the outbound links. Okay, so just back to WordPress editor. Okay, so first let's just save the changes we made. Then back to the WordPress editor. Okay, so let's just add an outbound link. So let's say New York.com. New York. Okay, then click update. Okay, and then let's refresh to see if we have outbound links now. Okay, now, so it is showing up all links here now. So again, some of these wouldn't be too hard to fix. So like text length and then just focus key phrase density. So this is just making sure this one right here is shown on the page more. So let's just add it to the page. Okay, put it there, and then at the end as well. See, now the key phrase density is uh, good as well. So again, in the text length, we just have to add more detail. And then adding the key phrase in the meta description. Update. Refresh. Yep, so it's, this one's good as well. Yep, so these are all just uh, improving the content of the page. And so once you improve these, then that should help with your SEO. But let's try to make it get to green. Okay, so the meta length is a bit short, so let's increase that. Um, Yeah, so now it's saying I should reduce the key phrase length. So let's just clean this up. Okay, 
Okay, so now it's nine. And then just improving the content. So you shouldn't do this, but I'm just gonna copy and paste the same thing. Okay, key phrase in the introduction. And then the last three is just in the SEO title. Okay, I think that's good because the SEO analysis turned green. So that means a majority of the SEO optimizations have been completed. So let's just keep it like that for now. Okay, next we can optimize posts as well using SEOs. So these are like your blog posts. So it's the same process as what we did to edit the pages. So just go to edit and then this will pop up again. And then you can just go through what we did before and just um, make the changes to the page so that this turns green. So Yoast SEO has a premium version which comes with more features. Starting out, you can just use the free one and then if you're looking for more features, then you can purchase the premium version, which will give you more features to improve the SEO of your website. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you're able to optimize your website using Yoast SEO. And for more content like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.